saw that there was a bigger picture to this where we all could work together on water issues. And so it was simply at uh, Cass Cafe, in fact, um, where we had all met and were talking about these um, water issues that Ann Rawl over here came up with the idea <laughs> that we should, uh, sh should, since we were all frustrated with the water board, that we should advocate for transparency of this water board when it came to our issues. And she was like, we need the people's water board. And by golly, that's what we created. <laughs> We then focused on, okay, what is our mission statement? What do we all agree on? And the one thing that we kept coming back to is that water is life, and that we all need water to survive, and it should be a right that everyone has water. Um, we should not be experiencing shutoffs in homes, and people should have access to water that is, is public water, and that is clean water. How we divided up our goals is we saw that there were these three main issues. Issues of access and affordability, issues around water quality and conservation, and then issues around privatization. And so using those three categories, we then developed um, what we call our short-term and our long-term goals. And that's what um, drives our coalition is then working to, to meet those goals. So we've got Michigan Welfare Rights Organization that um, has been working on affordability issues and shutoffs because as Anne had mentioned earlier, we at one point we know that we had over 40,000 homes that were shut off um, from water. Then we have um, groups that are working on issues of privatization. Um, mainly we have a, um, the ASPME Local 207 um, which is the water workers union here in Detroit that have seen a lot of their jobs um, being taken from pi private contractors um, with the city of Detroit. Um, and then we have the issue of water quality. We have the Detroit River that is right outside of uh, this building here. And the Detroit River has um, probably close to, I would say, 20 billion gallons of sewage that go into it in a year. Then we have the Rouge River that has another 10 billion gallons. So in one year, we have over 30 billion gallons of sewage, or of raw sewage and partially treated sewage that are contaminating our rivers and going into Lake Erie. And that contamination has high levels of um, E. coli, nutrients, you name it, it's got it. Um, and of course creates um, problems as far as our water quality goes. 